Okay, so I have have a way here I've done in the past to show people declination in the United States, Northern Hemisphere. So try not to laugh too hard at the drawing. It's not the scale. This is zero declination. If you are on this line and plotting a course somewhere, while you're on this line and within this line, you're at zero degrees. So that is true north. That is not magnetic north. That is true north. As we go west, we see these are easterly declinations. Two degrees east, four degrees, six degrees, eight degrees, up to 18 degrees east. And they're called east because they're heading to the east. So on the west, on the east side, you have west declination because they are all heading toward the west side. So an easy way to do this to show you is here, remember this is not the scale, this is magnetic north and magnetic north is constantly moving every year they say, they say it moves 37 approximately 37 feet a year somewhere between 34 and 37 feet a year toward Russia believe it or not so it, it always changes but this is for this is for uh, an example here so this is magnetic north and way up here is true north which is a north pole so if we are on zero you can see that everything lines up as we move to the west and we have east declination you can see how this is spreading apart magnetic true as I continue this way in the United States, this continues to develop further and further apart. So if you were heading this direction on your compass, which is always pointing magnetic north, you can see how you, much you're off course. That's true north. So as I go this direction, it becomes wider and wider of an angle between the two. That difference is called declination. And as we move back down here to zero, we're back on zero again, and we have zero declination. And then we move to the east, we have west declination, which continues to grow apart also as you go up the coast. And up to here, you have 20 degrees just off the top of the northwest side or northeast side you have about 20 degrees declination as you get up here. That's about the easiest way I can explain and show you east and west declination.